to activate the inter element correction function in a lab book in order to compensate for a known interference, start by selecting the interfering element. Select a non interfering wavelength. If the concentration of the interfering elements is not of interest, then there is no requirement for them to be calibrated. In addition to the calibration standards, some extra samples are required. A single element solution is required for each interference. In this case, 100 ppm of arsenic and 100 ppm of silica. As a test, we will analyze a sample containing 5 ppm of cadmium and nickel and spiked with 50 ppm of arsenic and silica, along with a tap water sample. Then we just need to define their positions on the auto sampler. Then press save and OK and start the sequence. As we can see, the cadmium 228 line has a clear arsenic interference and the nickel 221 line has a clear silicon interference. To remove this, we start by going to intensities, then right click on the cell containing the interference and select inter element correction. Find the line for the interfering element and click calculate and OK. Again, right click on the cell containing the interference and select inter element correction. Find the interfering elements and click Calculate, then OK. As can be seen, a calculation is done to compensate for the interference, so that when we move to concentrations, then the interference is removed. To manually configure the inter element correction factors, open Method Parameters, Correction. From here, the formulas can be entered manually. To save changes, click Save and OK.